Hi, my name is Mark Brown and this is my journey deeper in God's Word. And today I'm reading from the incredible book of Romans, uh, starting at chapter 5, starting at verse 1. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also rejoice in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. And how and hope does not disappoint us, because God has poured out His love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, whom He has given us. This passage this morning has really, really spoken to me and challenged me, and I want to share what it means to me, what it's doing for me. The first thing is, is this line, therefore, since we have been justified through faith, and the Greek, <coughs> the Greek for justified is to be cleared, to be proved. And what that says to me is that my faith in God has to be very, very significant in my life. And what, what happens is that when I get busy, and this is the challenge of the whole passage, so I'm really going straight to the point, is that when I get busy, I get stressed. And when I get stressed, the natural inclination, my first place, I have to be honest, is still, I tend still to rely on my own strength. I still look to what can I do? How can I make things better? And then I may pray. Well, usually I do pray and I go to the Word. But my first reaction is always, <laughs> I'm struggling. This is hard work. What am I going to do to make this better? And yet it's clear in the passage that when it says, since we have been justified through our faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Peace is available when I realize that I have to prove nothing that I don't actually have to do, that, that what I should do should include turning to God. For faith is that it's proved, my faith is proof that I know God is acting in my life. Faith is knowing that God is part of my life. And this incredible passage then talks about through the hope of the glory of God, not so, but if we rejoice in our suffering, who rejoices in their suffering? <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's one of those amazing passages in the Bible. You read it and you're like, it's so unexpected that when I'm suffering, the last thing I want to do is rejoice. But what it's saying is we don't rejoice because we're kind of into pain or I'm into pain or something. It's rejoicing because it's saying that is when God acts. That is when God is really going to step in and He will prove to me how powerful He is. And that firms up my faith. See, faith in God, faith in Jesus, in the active God in my life, isn't just because I say it, it's because I pursue it. I want God to work in my life and then I see it. I see it exhibited in my life. Faith is knowing that God will act. Faith is seeing that God will act. And the more I look for that, the more I pursue that and want that, the more my faith will grow. So how then do we really rejoice? Or how do I rejoice in the face of suffering? Well, it says, suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance character and character hope and it says in the passage hope does not disappoint us because God has poured out his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit which he has given us recently I was on a run and I was on a run with a, a very special friend uh, and she is very fit and a very good runner and it was very hot and I don't go well with heat and we run for about an hour. And about 30 or 40 minutes in, I started to really feel the heat. It was, you know, it, it was, it was a warm day. 
and it was starting to affect me and I was really starting to lag. And normally I can run an hour, no problems. But with the heat, now she was quite incredible. I was literally saying to her, I'm really struggling. I may need to pull up short. This is hard, hard. I'm struggling. I'm drinking. I'm doing all the fluids. I'm, you know, <laughs> being careful of my pace. But she did something quite incredible. She encouraged me. She said, keep going. Focus on, on, a, on a target ahead. Just get your rhythm. And she was coaching me the whole way. I needed to stop a couple of times, but I finished the hour run. And it was genuinely only to her encouragement. Her encouragement. And that is perseverance. Perseverance Perseverance is, is not giving up when it's hard. Perseverance is continuing in the face of challenge and struggle. Perseverance is me just putting one foot in front of the other on that very tough run. But the key was, it wasn't me. Honestly, if I was running by myself, chances are that I probably would have stopped. But I kept going. I kept persevering because my friend was encouraging me. And that friend is a little like the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit's role, one of its roles in our life, is to speak into our lives, to bring thoughts and experiences and people. It is God's way, action way of working in our lives. The Holy Spirit is like my friend who encouraged me to just keep going. So how does that work practically for me today? As I face the struggle, as I face the struggle, I need to open myself up to God. I need to pray, Lord, bless me with the Holy Spirit. I need to be more open to the Holy Spirit. It's incredible for me. I go through waves. There's periods where... It's, it's almost like I forget the importance of the Holy Spirit and God brings me back to that through His Word or an experience. But I, it is right now I need to be more open to the Holy Spirit, to that power, that dynamos, that power uh, coming through my life, encouraging me to persevere through the struggles. Character is built. Well, the run, at the end, I felt great about it. I felt exhausted. Uh, I, I, I had some heat uh, effects from the heat, but I soon got over that. And I felt tougher for the experience, building the mental toughness for longer, tougher, more difficult runs. Building character in life. So that the next time we face a challenge or I face a challenge, I can say to myself, I can do this. Not because of me, but because I have God through the Holy Spirit, gently encouraging me to persevere. And character builds hope. Hope. Now, hope in the Greek, it's a beautiful term. Hope in the Greek means confidence and security. So, in fact, the more I rely on the Holy Spirit, the more confident I get as a Christian. And it feeds itself. Till eventually, uh, I'm in that space where I'm, I'm just doing it. I'm able to go through the struggles and challenges because I know deep down that the Holy Spirit is with me, that God is with me. It's a funny sort of thing. It's a little bit like in, our, in my Christian walk, you know, the power of the Holy Spirit, the role of the Holy Spirit in my life is a little bit like if my Christian walk was a car. It's a little bit like not putting gas or petrol in the car. So the car sits out on the driveway, I can sit in it, I can look at it, but it's not going to go without gas or petrol. Well, the gas or petrol is like the Holy Spirit. The car is my faith, my walk, my journey with God. If I wanted to go, if I wanted to be active, I've got to have gas, I've got to have fuel. And that fuel is the Holy Spirit, the power, the dynamos. I need the Holy Spirit in my walk so I can journey and travel and persevere. I praise God for this passage. I praise God for the way He has shown me again, yet again, the importance of the Holy Spirit. Lord, 
I pray that you would bless me with the touch of the Holy Spirit over this day. And for anyone who's watching this, if they need your power, if they're struggling and they're really struggling to persevere, the Lord, you would bless them with the Holy Spirit too. Show them the importance, the intimate importance of you being in our lives through the Holy Spirit. In your name.